From my perspective, I think it will open. Because of the Olympics, they would open the borders in March. It's been exactly one year, seven months since China closed its borders. With the Beijing Olympics just around the corner, will China finally reopen its borders? Coming to China is a mistake. I will leave China when I'm ready, but for now, I'm not ready because um, I want to gather some money, look for a better, a very better country where I can understand what they're speaking and they can also understand what they're saying. In the nearest future, would you allow somebody that studied medicine in this uh, century to treat you or your family members? All these things are protocols. When the time comes, I'm sure there will be protocols that will make sure that this person is actually capable. You're speaking like you spoke to your dad and he said that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he said the way he just said, like protocols. Huh? Like, dad, I'm worried about studying in China. I need to come back home. And then dad said, no, son, these are just protocols. Just <laughs> daddy. And when you come back, they will test you. <laughs> Hi, and thanks for tuning in. So recently, a lot of foreigners have been speculating and discussing the topic of when foreigners are going to be allowed to return to China. So with the Beijing Olympics just around the corner in January, February is it? Yeah, a lot of foreigners are speculating that China might open. So I took the time to just discuss with my fellow students and foreigners that are currently here in China within my vicinity. I asked them a couple of questions uh, based on their experience studying in China and also just their experience studying during, the pre, uh, during COVID-19. I also went on to ask them what their speculation as to whether China is going to open or not based on the atmosphere around them. As you can see maybe at the beginning of this video you notice not a lot of people are wearing masks anymore. Anyway, I don't want to waste much of your time, uh, this will be a series of some sort so in every single episode there's going to be one particular character that's going to express themselves tell us about themselves and uh, tell us about their experience in China so without further ado let's jump right in and talk to this particular character okay see you yeah answers what uh, uh, my name is Mbasela I'm an international student at SIE. I study mechanical engineering and I'm from Zambia. What's your learning experience in China compared to Zambia? Uh, my learning experience in China has been very interesting. It's very different from Zambia. It's more on your own as you're in university. And as compared to Zambia, well, since I came from high school straight to university, or rather I started in A-level, so it was more of a strict role, or rather a strict timetable that students had to play. But as I've come to China with diverse, you know, people from other country, it's a bit different because, you know, people don't really have the, I could say the level of discipline that you could get in Zambia from high school. So yeah, it's been very interesting and getting to meet other people and also learn the language and yeah it's it's been a hectic ride but I could say that I've learned more in high school I'm gonna compare my high school time to university I've learned more because my teachers would teach more and here in China mainly because the lecturers aren't really good with Chinese and you know I'm not really good with they are not really good with English and I'm not really good with Chinese. There's a bit of a difficulty in the learning and it kind of makes it hard for me. But yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I would say. But learning wise, everything's okay. And at the end of the day, I'm able to understand. Okay. Yeah. What's the comparison to these COVID-19 times compared to when things were back to normal? <laughs> it's been difficult because we're not really used to learning in through the computer virtual type of learning and it's been really difficult because you know it's something that we are all I, like I said we're all used to physical learning being with the teacher talking to the teacher asking the teacher questions and you know when you do virtual learning there's always a difficulty such as internet problems you can't really see 
if the lecturer would play a video, it would be difficult where you are, depending on your internet connection. And yeah, that, that, I think that would be the main problem. And also comparing to people who live outside of China, uh, it's really difficult for them because they have to adapt to China time in their regional time, which was a bit difficult. Like they would have classes at O3, Wow, you know, here it's the afternoon and it would be difficult for them because they have to adjust. And at the same time, during the day, I'm sure they'll probably be busy with other stuff, so, yeah. What would you say to someone back home hoping to come back to China next year? Should they keep their hopes up or should they move on and try to find some other places to go? Do you think China is opening anytime soon from your perspective? From, from my perspective, I think it will, but from my perspective, I think it will open, but it will take some time for them to allow international students back into China because it's gonna be a whole process. But I would advise because yes, China is, it gives you good opportunities. You know, you can get a job, uh, but there are other countries which can offer an education, which can give you a job. It's not always China this, it's not always China that. You can go to, let's say Namibia, you can go to Botswana, you can go to Russia, you can go to America. I know some friends who currently they are doing their masters in America because it's much easier for them to go to America and do everything physically in school. So if you want to uh, come to China, it's always by choice. I cannot force you not to come. But, you know, there are always other options that you can use to your advantage. I hope yeah. you guys have learned something from this video. I hope you got the information that you Thanks. need. And I hope the person that was interviewed in this particular episode shared the experience in China and it helps you decide your next step, whether you're coming to China, whether you're coming back to study here in China or you're moving forward to another country. Um, we hope for the best and I'll see you in the next one.